very early in life you your perception of yourself as good at something or bad at something is set mostly by other people telling you that story before you even discover for yourself whether you're good at something or not or whether you're uh, a kind person or a selfish person or a uh, you know like a nitpicking kind of person or a cry baby or whatever other people form that opinion about you and they keep telling you the feeding you that story until you begin to believe it yourself so I think a big responsibility of children's writers, children's educators, and people who publish books for children is is to get to that, get to them quite early on, before such um, uh, concepts are set in their minds, and provide them alternative stories about which they can pick to about themselves, which they can tell themselves about themselves. And some of them could be these, you know, like if we're talking math, then. We could have a story about a kid who thought he was bad at math, who actually wasn't, because he was really good at things that he didn't think were math, but they actually were math, you know. So things like that. So I, I think it's important generally for children not to have set perceptions of themselves. I think it's important to let children know that it's okay to change your mind about things. You know, that is the other fear. They want so much to believe in their story. and not get out of their own comfort zones that even if evidence presents itself that that story that told themselves is wrong or could possibly be uh, false they are not willing to change their minds because we are uh, the world tells us that you know sticking to your opinion sticking by your guns staying with your passion is the thing to do but anything that stagnates like that is bound to crumble okay the what what lasts is like the river which keeps changing its course as fresh new paths open themselves